Hello, this is Mike Fern with the Senate Republican Office. For this week's Republican Radio Address, we thought we would do something a little different and showcase some of our senators who are retiring from the main Senate. Due to term limits, we have four senators who will be leaving us at the end of this year. And today we're going to showcase one of them, Senator Paul Davis of Piscataquis County. We went up to his house in Sangerville to let him speak in his own words to tell his own story. Senate will be in order. Chair recognizes the Senator from Piscataquis, Senator Davis. Thank you very much, Mr. President. For Senator Paul Davis, his public service began as far back as 1970, when he heard his calling to become a police officer in Newport. It wasn't soon thereafter when he went to what was then the State Police Academy at Camp Keys in Augusta, well before the main Criminal Justice Academy was even created. Well, in 1970, I got a job in Newport, Maine as a night officer. And I did that job from uh, Memorial Day of 1970 through to about the second week of September in 71. On September 19th, I reported for duty at Camp Keys in Augusta for the state police. And uh, that was back then, it was 14 weeks, I think a lot more now and a lot more intensive, but that's what we had. And then I, when I graduated, they sent me down to uh, Southern Maine. I worked on the Maine Turnpike for uh, about a year and a half, maybe a little more. And uh, then I wanted to get back up in the woods, so to speak. I, I went to, uh, I, I transferred to Rangeley. I had the opportunity to, and we lived there for four years, and it was great. It was a nice, nice area, nice people. It had its drawbacks. It was a long ways from nowhere, 42 miles, and after you've been a trooper in the area for a while, and you were pretty close to about all the law enforcement there was, there was a police department, but it was a one-man department, and he didn't do an awful lot, I guess. <laughs> he wasn't required to. After running for a school board and also serving as a selectman, it wasn't until the late Senator Stephen Hall of Guilford tapped the 75-year-old Davis to run for Hall's seat, a race he felt he was up to despite going up against a stiff opponent, in this case, an incumbent House representative. Then in uh, 1998, 97, the uh, incumbent state senator here called me one day and asked me if I'd be interested in the state senate. And I said, well, why not? So I think I shocked him when I told him that I'd do it. And we had quite a campaign. I was running against an incumbent House member. She'd been in the newspapers all the time. She was a, she was a smart politician. I wasn't supposed to win. I wasn't in the cards at all. Newspapers just gloated over her. I would buy an ad in the newspaper and they'd have a picture of her right beside it, giving a sentiment to some Boy Scout or something. I wasn't supposed to win. That, that wasn't in the cards. But like I said, I did. <laughs> yep. And I went to Augusta. And I was fascinated with Augusta, with, with, with what went on. I, I used to scratch my head and wonder why the heck is some of this stuff happening? What on earth are they thinking? What are they doing? You know, it wasn't just money. It was the way they were behaving and the way they were acting and on and on. It was both sides. It wasn't just the Democrats. It was the Republicans, too. And being in the legislature is, is a real challenge. It takes you six months to make sure you know where the bathrooms are and all that type of thing. You, you don't learn it overnight. When I first got there, I was, I was put down front. I think uh, Brad Farron sits in the seat that I sat in. And right beside me was a legislator by the name of Robert Murray. He was a Democrat from Bangor. And I didn't know what to think. The other side of me was Betty Mitchell. And she was a Republican from Aetna. Robert Murray turned out to be one of the best things that happened to me when I first went there. He took me under his wing. He would tell me all sorts of things that were, were, were about parliamentary procedure, about what to expect, what to do. He ran a good committee. Everybody liked him. Everybody. And I especially liked him. 
And he, as I said, he, he showed me the ropes. He did. He didn't have to. And, uh, but he did. He, he really did a nice job with me. Time went on and I left. And one day, a year or so after I'd been gone, Josh Taddy called me up and he wanted to know if I'd be interested in recruiting. I wasn't doing much, so I, I uh, said, yeah. I went down to Augusta, met with him, and, and I spent the next two years recruiting. There was a lot of people in there that I'd recruited, and even today, uh, I think there's two in the Senate that I recruited, Stacy Gurn, and I had a hand in uh, Jeff Timberlake uh, recruiting them. The game changed completely. And I served in the House for three terms, for three elections, when I was in leadership in the Senate, for three elections, we won 17 seats, three in a row. One election, I'll always be convinced that we won 18. Ah, uh, I served four terms. I became chair of uh, Inland Fisheries and Wildlife, again, the Senate chair this time, and we were able to have a have some real meaningful legislation in, the, in, in regards to outdoor activities. It has been a great honor, a great privilege to be there, and I haven't taken it lightly. I have, I have never asked an individual their politics when they called me for help. If they wanted my help, Paul Davis was going to help them. I didn't care where they come from or who they were. They could be a dyed in the wool Democrat or a communist or whatever. They needed help and I did my best to help them. And it was a labor of love. I love the people of the state of Maine. I love the state of Maine. Worked for the state for a long time when I was a state trooper. I was a great employer. I had a great career. At times it was, wasn't as great as it was other times, but it was a great career. My, my caucus honored me. They elected me to the highest uh, uh, in-state office at that time, the state head. Uh, I had the opportunity to meet with presidents and kings, and it was just a marvelous, marvelous experience.